talk about the line last week, Gus. For the first time, your fives was broken up, and you guys still played pretty well. Just play the line last week and moving forward, what do you think? Uh, I think last week was really good, kind of coming together without Greg. It's tough missing him, but really coming together like, okay, like we're still good enough to do this. Like we can play. Like Cam's Cam can do it. Like we're Cam's played this year, so kind of we still trusted everybody. It wasn't that big of a shift, but it was different having Greg and Eric on different sides and having Cam there. But I think we played well and kind of getting to run the ball was a really big thing for us and have the mentality that we're going to come out and run the ball. Just to have over 100 yards and to get some of your running backs involved again, just what kind of confidence did that give the line after that, after Saturday's game? Yeah, I think just getting over the 100 yards, I mean, we've had it this year, but not really, like, against a really good team, like, getting, like, Nebraska's had teams that they, they've held, I think they held Michigan State down, like, they, right. they a bunch of teams had a rush ball on them, and we were able to get yards on them, get, get good gains, pop some big runs, I mean, I think it's really a testament to kind of the mentality and work we put in last week to get ready for Nebraska. What you guys, as an offensive line, learn from the Wisconsin game that you can apply these next four games that could help maybe help you guys? Yeah, I think Wisconsin was they were really good up front and they did a lot of stuff that was tough to deal with. But I think we learned from it and kind of going back on film, like okay, this is what we did wrong. This is what we can correct going into next week and kind of learning. Okay, like this is kind of just seeing it, it like live and seeing it against Nebraska, just learning more and more for everybody just kind of coming together a little bit more. What's it like knowing Xander's behind you and you're blocking for him? Yeah, it's I mean, it's nice knowing Xander's back there. And I love blocking for all the running backs. And Xander, you know, you're just getting a little bit. He's a physical guy and he's going to make the cut. And same with King and Dylan and all the guys back there. Just, uh, you guys, November's here. This is when things kind of get really serious yep. in college football. <laughs> just, I mean, just to have, have the opportunity that you have not only this week, but this full month to, to, to maybe get some goals. What, you know, what's that mean for your, for you guys? Uh, I think just really getting into November, kind of having five wins, still trying, like, okay, we could, we have a shot, like, probably need, like, a little bit of help, but we can get to the Big Ten Championship game. Like, there's things we can still do. We got to work, like, do what we can do. If we go 1-0 and each week, that's all we got to worry about. And, I think stack weeks, stack days. I think we, I think we have a shot. I think we're a pretty good team. Just uh, you guys, when you went with uh, seven offensive linemen on the one play, is that is that a pump out your chest moment for the line, or you know, kind of what what was that like? Yeah, I mean, it was I was awesome getting Musa and Marcus in there, just getting the young guys in there, like knowing like, and then getting in there, especially at Nebraska, like third down, like it's, it's loud, like okay, this is this is a little different than what you guys were doing, and hike in Wisconsin so it was awesome and like, okay we're getting a bunch of big big guys out there like we, we got to get this like this is what we got to do so yeah th- those, guys, those guys are true freshmen like you were last year guys yep. I mean just how, how good can those two guys be you think I think I think both of them can be really good I think I think we have a bunch of a bunch of good talent in the O-line room I think a bunch of guys are young probably might take a little bit but I think both those guys can be really good players you see anything about Michigan State on film that that could be challenging. You think you look forward to taking on? They're they're really good up front. I mean, they're they're a good team. Like anybody else in the Big Ten, they're physical. They're gonna try and come at you a little bit. They're strong. They're big guys. So we got a challenge like every week in the Big Ten, and got to get ready for them.